Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Jason Worley with WCFAB. Today we are introducing our second generation L5P Duramax high flow intake horn. So here we have our second generation high flow intake horn for the L5P Duramax. Believe it or not, the high flow horn for the L5P is one of the very first products that we manufactured for these trucks back in 2016. Back then, our capabilities were a lot different than they are today, and we manufactured that horn out of a laser cut steel flange and fabricated mandrel bent tubing. We've been offering that horn for a very long time. It was the very first one that came to market, and we decided that with our expanded capabilities and additional experience that we've gained over the many years of offering these horns and manufacturing several other products for the L5P, we decided to make some improvements on some of our older legacy product. So what we have in front of us here, as I mentioned, is our second generation cast aluminum high flow intake horn. So what are the benefits of this horn over the OEM component? First and foremost, the OEM part is an injection molded plastic piece. This is a nice high quality, casted in the USA and machined here in house at WC Fab. We start out with largest on the market four inch inlet. There's a lot of other manufacturers out there that claim that theirs are a four inch. Some of them measure as small as 3.7 inches on the inside diameter. Ours, as close to four inch as you can get while still allowing connection of the factory style boots or any other boot. No matter what kind of intake, system you have on your truck, whether it's factory, some other competitor brand, or a WC Fab, it will be compatible with our high flow intake horn and offering you the largest diameter inlet on the market. From the inlet to the turbo face, we've held the largest size that we can to offer the greatest increase in flow area while still being able to install the horn and not have to modify any of the components around it. This is a drop-in installation component with average hand tools and basic mechanic experience. This can be installed, no issues with check engine lights or trouble codes, and is emissions compliant. So we held that large dimension for as long as we could, and it gradually tapers down to the face of the turbocharger, where we have our integrated machine anti-surge ring. So we've had several different style anti-surge rings over the years, making improvements as things go along and we learn more about how these trucks operate and what works and what doesn't. Our existing horn, we've had great, we've had great luck with, but this is a step even better. Some of the newer trucks, the 10 speeds in particular, are more notorious for being right on the edge of the compressor surge map uh, with the 10-speed transmissions. That truck is always right in the meat of the power and it does not have as wide of an RPM operating range as a six-speed transmission truck. And then you compound that issue when you add larger tires and high-performance tuning, turbochargers, et cetera. So we designed our anti-surge ring, which closer mimics the OEM, but much larger in size, while still keeping that anti-surge face intact to prevent that turbo from surging. So what we have at the outlet of our horn, which is the inlet of the turbocharger, is a 25% increase in overall area at the face of the turbocharger. This horn was compatible with OEM turbos as well as drop-in turbos up to 67 millimeter without hindering the performance of the turbocharger on your larger drop-in upgrades. Overall, the horn offers a 27% increase in airflow over the factory unit. It's 142 CFM gain. At the face of the turbocharger, we supply a new high-quality O-ring for a great positive seal at the face of the turbo. We supply studs for the face of the turbo compressor cover, as well as new hex nuts for installation of the horn at the turbo. On the top of the horn, you'll see our threaded port, which is an identical location to the OEM PCV connection. And with our supplied black anodized build aluminum bung installed in our number 10 ORB port, you can reconnect that factory PCV system for trouble-free, emissions compliant operation. On the bottom of our PCV bung, you'll notice that it is actually extended into, into the airflow tract of the horn, which mimics the factory operation to help create a venturi past that PCV port to help draw the crankcase gas from the factory PCV system, just as it would with a factory style intake horn. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, 
This new second generation horn does fit 2017 to current model years. Our previous Gen 1 version developed over the years as GM made changes. We had a 17 to 19 as well as a 20 plus version. So this one fits both. It is available as a solo purchase if you want to purchase it by yourself. And we also offer it in our Stage 2 intake package, which is a combination of our high flow 4 inch intake kit and the high flow intake horn. Purchasing it in the Stage 2 intake kit does save you some money versus buying the components individually. So lastly, we'll touch on our high quality powder coat finish. In our in-house state-of-the-art powder coat facility here at WC Fab, we take great pride in our preparation and powder coat process, offering you the highest quality powder coat finish. This one's shown in our very popular WC Fab Red, and we have several other colors that are in stock, available for quick-to-ship options. If you want something custom or special, those are available too with a little bit extended lead time. If you've got any questions about our second generation L5P high flow intake horn, or anything else that we offer for the L5P Duramax, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to our sales team and we'd be happy to help. Thanks a lot for watching.